wife. But everything ages. Do you know what I mean? Sure, remember the Friends on Netflix? And all the people. That's insane, man. Oh. You watched all like the teens now who watch Netflix, like that's sexist, don't know what to say. Yeah. Friends got like ridiculed, like yeah. people were like boycotted and all this here stuff. And I'm like, but at the time, like they didn't do anything harmful. So it's like, like how can you, like they're not making it right now. Yeah. You know, well, 30 that, years ago. I know, that doesn't mean it's right though, doesn't it? It's like saying like, oh, a documentary made in 1920 was racist towards black people. It's okay, but you know, watch it now. We all know at the time it was okay to be racist. Yeah, but do you think yeah. Friends is racist or sexist? Like when you watch that now. Well, I remember I, I were speaking from a fucking a male perspective. So we're obviously not going to say it's sexist. Um, not female. non-gender, non-binary. You know what I mean? Like, so <laughs> if, as, that's why I'm like, I was listening to the debate before I came on here. And I was, some guy was talking about like, I, I'm not going to get into it, but he was like talking, speaking for like, uh, lower class black people in America. And I, I felt like, and the, the guy debating him, everyone said to him, like, mate, you're not black. Like, you don't know what's like. Same way we don't know what's like to be women. We don't know what, what women went through. And same today, there is there is sexism in the world. There's sexism. The 90s was pretty bad. Movies and stuff, TV shows was really, really, really sexist. We all can all admit but, that. So, yeah, it, but the it, point it, is, like, so should we stop watching those movies? No, 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 no. But but they, but they admit. But people can do what they want. People boycott anything. People boycott fucking McDonald's and Starbucks. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know my opinion and shit. Like, people can boycott whatever they want. Hmm. They, they enforce that. It's wrong. Like, I'm not going to go out and say McDonald's and say, here, don't eat McDonald's. It's bad. I mean, like, people can do what they want that's the right for free speech but they, to to uh, to even not even admit the friends i i can't remember what parts of friends are sexist but i'm sure there is you know what I mean? yeah, i'm sure there is so for for us to say they're not right then we're, we're, i think we're wrong I, I think obviously there is sexism in friends i'm sure there is i, can I don't think any but didn't say that there wasn't but like it's a comedy show like the the I just don't understand why I don't know. I just think people take things so literally. It's like fucking chill out. It's like it's like we watch Frankie Boyle. I'm mean, like he's fucking disgusting the things he says, but it's a comedy show. So when whenever do you step back and go, maybe he's joking. Maybe friends are making jokes. But I'm like, I oh, think... but that's harmful to me. And I'm like, well, don't watch them. But is is the joke that they they know they're being sexist, which is fine enough because you know, you can make a good TV show and be be purposely mm-hmm. sexist. Scrubs do a lot. But Scrubs are trying to shed awareness on why sexism and sexism is actually happening. That's why Scrubs was just ahead of his time in terms of like sexism in workplaces. But they knew they were doing that. But was the joke? The joke wasn't about them being sexist. The joke was something else. It just so happened they were sexist in the meantime. I think that's the difference. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? Maybe yeah. Well, I think that I if, just if, think. If, 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 like, if I say if like I say like we always we, we especially Proctor does this here like you joke around and say like, oh women go back to the kitchen. No, like, no, that, I, that I, is, that I, I don't the joke. associate myself with this. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, the joke. It's the, he knows he's being abruptly yeah. sexist. I see, I say it, joke. and then but I'm like, but, if, but I know, I know it's a sexist thing. To yeah, say. yeah, that is the joke. But if Proctor's saying, telling a joke, but if I was serious, and, and then he seriously is saying, go back in the kitchen, that's where women belong, then oh, it's well, we're only joking around. Was, no, the joke wasn't about them as being sexist. But the joke was also, about, also. You can have someone who has the opinion that even if Proctor is joking and knows he's joking, he still shouldn't say it. So yeah, should he not yeah. say it? Yeah, but I, I, I so think... Where, where do you draw the line? That's just my point. It's like, so you could have someone... The example you just gave is Proctor making a sexist joke, but he actually knows he's being sexist and he's just actually highlighting an issue that he shouldn't really say that, but he, he knows it and he's just saying it as a joke. You could still have someone go, but I still don't think he should say that. He should not say that. So where do we draw the line and go, maybe he shouldn't say it? Are we wrong that he shouldn't say it? Well, it's all de- it all depends on who finds offence to it, but I think if you, are, if, but no, I don't think I don't think we, we we can't disregard anyone who finds something sexist or anyone who says like the way people like the way people talk about Irish people in the like, the seventies or sixties and stuff and they went went away like people even the way people make fun of the Irish accent like he's Joe Rogan does a lot he'll he'll uh, mimic an Irish accent which is really really offensive by the sum. I I can see that do I find offence to it not really but I can see how high people find offence to it should he do it. But that, that, that's a different debate. But to admit that there's sexism in Friends is, is not for debate. I don't but know. then, are we admitting that Proctor was being sexist? Yeah, but that's, that was the humour. If you find humour offensive, then that's your opinion. But I don't think... So is it acceptable for someone to have that opinion that Proctor is sexist? But it's their opinion. Same as they so I can admit that my uh, are about a bear club in Liverpool, but is that factual? That's my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think, what is the end goal? Is it to be offensive or is it to make someone laugh? Someone laugh? Or I could be highlighting an issue. 
Exactly. You, you can yeah, be absolutely. But you, uh, well, I've already I've already acknowledged that you that could is be it. a highlighting but that an issue. But it doesn't mean that someone somewhere hasn't heard that and went, that is offensive. I don't care what you're doing. You should not say that. Ooh, so you think, should you now not say that? Do you think for okay that's 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 going to the this this we debate then so you think if someone finds anything defensive uh and it's up for debate then ever anything, anything could be taken seriously then like anything you, you can say whatever you want then because well everyone's gonna be offended by anything so i can just say what i want i can say the end i can say does <laughs> yes but Ricky, it, it, it all depends where it comes from everyone's gonna I offend mean, offense but if you think that anything you say can be offensive therefore you can say whatever you want then that's a, re- a recipe for disaster, you think so? But I just don't think people should say, I don't think, there's obviously, there's always going to be outliers, there's always going to be things that we know we can't say, right? But Ricky Jafias, you're 100% right, he can, in a, the form of comedy that he says, he'll say whatever he wants, but he literally, let's see what you said, Ricky Jafias would be like, oh, well, I'll say whatever I want, because yeah. there's no malice in what I'm saying, and I know that, but because someone interprets it, that as offensive, but it's like, that's fine. It's like, you don't need to listen to me. You don't need to watch me. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that I should taper what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get it. But I also, I think, speaking about actual, re- like proper racism, for example, I know that's the extreme case, mm-hmm. but it's, it's the same thing. I'm sure there's people back in the 1950s who said, hey, well, we, don't, we don't mean to be racist. We're just saying black people are lazy. Like, we're, we're not being racist. We're just kind of saying what we think. Oh, should that person be shut down? Like, do you, do you think it's okay to say it now? No, obviously but, not. But that's someone's opinion. Like, uh, well, I'm, I'm just saying what I want to say, whether it's a joke or not. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so I think there's definitely gray areas, but I think if someone's being racist and someone being sexist, regardless if you think they are or not, it's not it's down to that person who finds offense bad. I mean, I guess you'd rather have me joking than being serious about it, so. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, of like, course. But, but, it's, but I'm just, I just think it's interesting. I, it's an interesting debate because you can go so far with it. That I, find, I, where... I find it interesting to a certain degree, but I don't find it interesting when someone who isn't from that, say, big, say, if you're talking about sexism between women, I don't think you have the right to talk about that there because you're not a woman. Same way, we can't really speak on racism, uh, what uh, black people feel. Because we're not black, we do, we don't we never experienced experience that. So how can we have a point of view on it? Our point of view is always going to be biased. I think that's where I think this conversation can go to. You know what I mean? I think that's why I'm like certain people like Jordan Peterson because sorry for a white guy, white privileged guy from America to say that shit because he doesn't he doesn't experience what what women go through on a daily basis. The sex in the women face in workplaces is, is horrendous, and you've told me first. No one's that. disagreeing with you. Nobody, yeah. literally, no one's disagreeing with you. But what we're talking about is someone making a joke yeah so should that person not make the joke all right so if you have a joke called the of well, the n-word it's a new joke yeah but uh, so, it's okay do you think it's okay though okay but so if proctor says a woman belongs in the kitchen that feels me as that or, but, or you <laughs> said it and you know he's your best mate and you know he's joking do you turn around and go you shouldn't say that because someone finds that offensive do you think someone says the n-word in a joke do you think it's only a joke should, you, should you be said but I think we've acknowledged that we shouldn't say that. Yeah, but what was it? But we've only acknowledged that in the last okay, few years. So, so okay, that's fine then. So you yeah. agree, Potter should never say that again. Then. Don't. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. But I'm saying from from me being a white guy, like a white male, I don't think I can determine if a woman finds something sexist. But that's Somewhere fine. I, but no one's yeah. telling. No one's telling you. To well, that's make your that thing. Judgment. You said people were, people were saying that people were watching Friends and finding sexist, and you think, well, it's a yeah. joke. It's not really. I'm like, well, that's because you think it's not sexist because it's not being sexist towards men. But imagine if you're a woman in that position. Uh, for me, for us, it's so hard to actually have this discussion because we, we've never found ourselves in that situation where we're being racially abused or uh, sexualized. You know what I mean? So if no, a woman, <laughs> you're not. You're what you're doing is you're taking the the biggest. I'm not even talking about that. But that's what it goes like, to Stephen, like, I, I know you can... Pro- 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 no, it was. You're talking about friends and people saying sexist jokes in friends. And I'm yeah, like, but yeah. I, all, I'm say- all I'm saying is, like, why would you boycott a show that was made 30 years ago? I'm not talking... Like, not- or, or, or why would you have, like... No, the question you know, like, People can feel how they want to feel and people can say what they want to say. Yeah. But I don't think... I think it's dangerous to start limiting things that we know 
like how far do you go like how far do you limit what someone says like we all live our lives and we all have friends that say things and we know they're joking do we now take a stance and say you shouldn't say that or are Probably, we being yeah. hypocritical are we being hypocritical and saying i know he's joking so he's never going to say that like, well, probably. Like, well, if, if, you, you know, like, then it gets if, you facil- if you facilitate racism, if you facilitate sexism, regardless if it's a small scale like Proctor's joke or on a big scale saying the N word, it all kind of, w- w- it all depends how someone takes it. For me, like, it's Frank. I know Proctor deep down. I've known him for years. He's not racist or he's not sexist. But like, there's someone can, someone can take that joke. Like it's the same way. That's why I'm not a big fan of Jordan Pearson. Jordan Pearson probably isn't a sexist. And he's, he, I, I would probably argue the case that he's not a sexist. But his sexist remarks pass on to sexist people and they use that information to be uh, abruptly sexist i think that's my problem in the grand scheme of things should we boycott friends if you're asking me personally then no i don't think we should boycott friends but to say that we don't see like, friends isn't sexist i didn't say that though no but that's what the that's what we're on like the, that's what the fundamental you said to me like like do you think friends sexist well i don't really have to say because i'm not i'm sure it is i'm sure i can find you scenes and friends are sexist but when i saw that did i find them sexist no because i'm not a woman mm-hmm. I don't find them sexist because I'm not a woman. Same way if I watched racist TV shows back in the day, can I see racism there? Yeah, but I find they racist abuse me. No, because I'm not black. You know what I mean? So I think, should they ban friends? No, I don't like the shoot. But to say it's not sexist, to say these jokes, even though they're only jokes, aren't sexist, is, I think is ridiculous. I think that, that's where I'm going. If that makes sense, I'm going a long way around it. But I think that's what I mean. No, I get what you're saying. And I'm not, like, not disagreeing you with it. But I'm just saying like, I just don't know how far we take something sometimes. It's like, if we can ha- if we can literally enjoy Frankie Boyle and we agree with Frankie Boyle when he makes these jokes, so like, are we just hypocritical then? Are, we, are me and you just completely hypocritical in what we say and do? If I can sit and listen to Ricky Gervais say whatever he wants and laugh at it and be like, that's amazing. Ricky Gervais has said loads of things that you can interpret as sexist. Frankie Boyle says fucking tons of shit that would literally repulse people. So do we start watching so- him now? No, so I think for me, maybe this is just my personal opinion and why I feel okay to laugh at Frankie Boyle because Frankie Boyle attacks all sorts of people. He attacks English people, he attacks Scottish people. He called a person that English cunt the other day. Maybe what's that mm-hmm. thing? But he also called Scottish people the rudest people on earth. He slays off men for being like plumbers. He slays off men for being businessmen. He, he slays off poor people. He slays off rich people. He slays off fat girls, no, he's ugly girls. Island. He's not targeting a specific thing. But you got a TV program like Friends. I'm not. I'm not. To be fair, I'm not. I didn't bring up Friends. I didn't. I had never once thought yeah. Friends was sexist. But I'm sure there is. To get to usually like Friends, and you have like the first five seasons, they're always being sexist towards women and not men. Then where do you draw the line then? Like why is why is it okay to be sexist towards women because at the time Stephen that's the bad thing we did believe them things them things in friends that were sexist we believed them we did believe that women deserved to be, should be in the kitchen we did believe that women sh- were, were objects to men like, uh, they, we, we always considered women to be lesser than men and that's not, that's not just me saying it that's, people thought this people thought mm-hmm. that black people were less human than white I white know people that, 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 no, 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 no 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 I'm not trying to make that point but I'm just saying that, that's what we're trying to say so it's like when we watch friends and say like oh it's been sexist because Stephen, it was being sexist and, and that's not it's not to say it's not okay or it's it, it is okay at the time it was okay they thought that but for us to say like, oh we we can't find a fence set there because it was back in the day i think it's uh, ridiculous but you, you get where i'm coming from so i think with frankie boyd and ricky javier ricky javier slags of everyone ricky javier slags everyone he's not targeting a specific race a, a specific person I think that's where you can get away from. But there are people, there are people who want Ricky Gervais censored. There's yeah. People, he gets he gets people on Twitter every single day yeah. sending him jokes, being like, "You made this joke about a nut allergy. My daughter has a nut allergy, and you made a joke about it. That's offensive." And Ricky Gervais will reply and go, "I make jokes about the Holocaust. Yeah. I don't care about a nut allergy." Yeah, I think that's where he can get away with it. But Stephen, Stephen, we, we had the discussion before at the start of this. Like, you think the season should be void, the Premiership season? And Parker doesn't. Who's right? Who's wrong? You know what I mean? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I says because it doesn't look like they're gonna. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think you think the season should be void, should you? Like cancelled? I think if it's well, if, I mean if it's for people's house, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, but okay, but, but I mean like deep, deep down, you want you want the season to be void. Well, yeah, but then it's it, it, more sorry, like, based, based on a football point of perspective, like sorry, man, I don't mean based on how obviously everyone wants to put. Yeah, based on football, of course, deep I down. I mean, if they find a way to sort the Champions League and the relegation out. So you rather you don't carve the season's void compared to just canceling the season and giving the real title? You think there's no difference in that? Well, they can't really give us a title if they don't know who's gonna. Well, they give it. it. Well, they give. They give the what club. What happened in Syria? Actually, what happened? 
Well, they give. Uh, Are the French what in the French league? Do they get relegated? Uh, I think, I think PSG won it. Yeah, I think they all yeah, got relegated. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, and I think. How did they Whoever was bottom just gone. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Same as in uh, Belgium as well. They just give it. But you know, I mean, like we're I'm uh, we're all going off topic here, but like I mean, I'm deep down. I know Procter and most Liverpool fans don't want the season to be cancelled or avoided. But Stephen, you're happy enough of it because because we're biased. But so people can people, people can have their own opinions. Is, yeah, is, but that's fine. But I, everyone has their own opinions. But it gets to the stage where it sometimes it can go. I'm only talking about the grey areas. So and I hate having this conversation and someone brings up Nazis or or um, black people and I'm like I'm not talking about racism that we all fundamentally know is wrong. But it's I'm talking but about like reason. it's it's constant. It's like it's censorism. Whenever you're like a comedian can't make a joke without getting criticised. It's like. Some people just need to take a step back sometimes and realize uh, that. I think I think what I bring up uh, like like racism and towards black people is because there was a time where people in this the same situation we're having now you're talking about like censoring jokes and stuff people were saying that about people were definitely saying that about black people. Well, come on, it's, it's only a joke. People were saying that that, that that that's not that you can't dispute that. People were having that argument 30, 40 years. I know ago. that. That's fine. So, so that's why I bring it up because just because right now we think it's we we think that we're a war. Because we know what sexism is, we know what racism is, but do we actually? In ten years' time, we're gonna look back and go, "Fuck me, do I we yeah. used to say this? We used to say this but word." Like that needs to, see, that needs to happen though for me because we all evolve and we look back and we change. But my issue is instant criticism. Whenever when, you say something and you have no idea that it's wrong. But when like, are you gonna? But when's the criticism going to be brought up? When are we going to be? Also, like, the criticism is an opinion. So you're having someone who's took offence to someone who says you can't say a certain word because that offends them. Yeah. We, we don't have the we don't have the measurement of time to look back and have a general consensus and be like fuck that was wrong. We just have one person on Twitter going this is wrong. Yeah. And, like, and, that, and that person could be right ten years down the line. We go fuck. Right. Right. But, but so, at the same time, it's like do we instantly censor people now? It's a like over time we look back and things are wrong and that's the that's the way we do things. We look back and go, fuck, twenty years ago we said this and we shouldn't have said that. Yeah. But what's happening now is people are saying things and they're good people and they've just made a comment and they have no idea if it's wrong. And you and I could have a conversation. Things we're saying right now could be completely wrong. So should we have someone coming on to us and being like, You shouldn't <clears throat> you shouldn't have said that? Should that <clears throat> is that how it should work? Should it be instant? But it all depends. It was, yeah, it's dangerous. I'm not saying people should be censored. I think that that wasn't the, the conversation. The conversation about people being people being censored, then it shouldn't do. But if you say a, a, a racist joke or a sexist joke on Twitter, and Twitter want to remove that joke, that's our that's our opinion. They can do what they want. Do you know why? Because it's a business. They're trying to save money. They're trying to stop people from going off Twitter. If they if you went on Twitter and seen uh, jokes about Irish people on a daily basis, you would go off it. Cause you wouldn't like that. So if someone goes on, sees sexist jokes and reports it and Twitter does nothing about it, they're going to leave out there. They're going to lose, cust- leave, lose customers. So what Twitter does is just block messages or block people who's being racist or sexist. So I think all it's all do- down to perspective. And I think why people get censored off Twitter is because of that. It's because Twitter is a business. So if Twitter wants to advertise products and whatever whatever they get paid for to do to advertise shit. You know, but if a if a company's like, well, this this person's saying sexist or racist jokes, and you're still like allowing them to be on that uh, twi- uh, Twitter, I don't think Twitter is sitting there going like, we are politically in, like, uh, we have our finger to the pulse in terms of what's politically correct. Twitter don't, Twitter don't give a fuck about that. They're, you know, I mean, Twitter yeah, don't give a shit. Their... They don't give a shit, and I think that's yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. As long as people yeah. use, is using their products. Well, so that's things that we are fundamentally can tell right now. What is racist and what's sexist? We we know that, right? But there are things. I don't, I don't think we do. I don't think we no, do. but but like in in general, like if someone's making a racist joke, in general we can tell, right? But usually, if, what if we're how the words we're using right now? What if the words we're using right now can offend someone? Exactly, I know. But that's that's then there. Do you not think that they are entitled their mm-hmm. opinion? Yeah, yeah. I am saying that, but and then you're not going to please everyone. Be censored. Yeah, no. what's up? It's, like, it's it's a grey area because like we don't have any malice here. We're just having a conversation, and I do not mean to offend people when I'm just trying to have a conversation. I'm trying to trying to learn as I go. Yeah. But it's like it gets the it's it can be so vicious sometimes. And if it's someone, like if someone tells you here, Stephen, that word you used the last podcast is offensive, and you go, all right, and you said you want but to what learn. What I don't think it is. But then, but okay, if, it, if, it, if yeah, then, but if it's sexist, then that's still your opinion. If you want to keep doing it, 
and then it gets to a growing consensus that that word is sense is sexist, and then you get censored. You didn't know about it. You were told that it was sexist. Now it's your own fault. But you what if I, mean? I no no? But what if I've said something, and what if you said something that you genuinely in your heart do not see how at all it is offensive, right? And you believe, and you say to me, and I go, that's not offensive. Yeah. And then someone censors that, and you go, but it isn't offensive. But so then your- some yes, but I found it offensive. Then you go, but I didn't. But, like, I don't, but, I don't, it offended, but it offended me, and I'm like, I don't think it I works. To I, you. I, don't, I don't think it works the one person finds something offensive. I think why people get banned from things and people get censored. You say a collective. You say a collective, yeah. Parker said like, thousands of people protesting it. I don't think it goes to Twitter. It goes, here's Spam Ricky Gervais because he made one joke with the Holocaust. If you got like 20,000 people, that's when you get, you get censored. Until then, I don't think it's one person. I don't think it works that way. I know like a lot of people want to say that works that way, but it doesn't. I think it works more if it's a large amount of people finding it offensive, then that's when really it becomes offensive. You know what I mean? But it's like anything. It's like if you go to a restaurant and everyone gets the same dish, now everyone's going to like it. Yeah. Doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean it should like be the only thing in the menu, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it's tough for, I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If someone finds something offensive, then we can't say they don't. Yeah, like, that's fine. I'm not saying I've never once said that you can't find something offensive, but it's it's broader than that. It goes to the next stage. Like when does it get to the stage where imagine they pull friends off Netflix? Is that like that's like a show that people have loved and millions of people have watched for years and now people have and I'm not saying they cannot find that offensive, but should they have the power to rip something off TV? I don't think so. Well, if oh, no, yeah, well, yes, Stephen, I think do have that power. I think, and if if millions of people came out and said, like, if half the population in the world came out and said, yes, friends are defensive, do you think it's okay to pull off TV? Or do you think, well, the other half like it? I well, don't know if that's would over. be like, if, if people don't log in the Netflix or don't cancel their subscription, then Netflix will be like, right, we'll remove that so we'll get our money back. Exactly. So, so is it is it just that. popularity? So say That's you had well, half, Netflix, half, half, half a million just people. Just don't find it offensive, and half a million people do find it offensive. Who do you go with? The people who find it offensive? Well, for, for if it's a business, whatever makes the most money. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's going to stop people from doing it. I think that's what most people do. I think Twitter and Facebook people, they are the more left wingers than that. Just this, this one make money as much as possible. You know what I mean? There's they're, they're just changing their policies to make, as, make as much money as possible. You know, and that's what they're censoring people because maybe a lot of people are complaining. Is it right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if it's right or not. If someone finds something offensive, then you can't, you know, I mean, it's... it's, it's, it's you keep saying this, Dan, and not once have I ever said someone shouldn't find it something offensive. I, I, I've, I've said the, the most. How many times have I said to you when we listen to, like, Dave or Black, and I go, we've never walked in their shoes, so we can't say that. So we're on the same page. Yeah. We're on the exact same page. So I, 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 I love you, I think... Said, I don't think people should find something offensive. You're leaning like, towards this. Offensive, that's fine, but my yeah. point is, like, how far do we go with it to the point where... Being offensive is an opinion. Like we get stages where people like they they find something offensive that you in your head could never think. How could that possibly be offensive? I think, I think we're just going around in circles. Should, should you I stop think, saying I think, it? I think we're going around in circles here because when I push the issue of what's offensive, you say well anything and whatever someone's opinion is, and I push for the fact that okay, let's go back to actual offensive things that we thought weren't offensive that became offensive and racism. I hate back people, and you're like, well, that's different. We all, we know that's offensive now. It's like. We only know because someone there's one person pushed that barrier, who pushed that, who said that's offensive. If that person didn't do it, then how we how we everyone to know? Okay, you know so I mean? but but I'm talking about like I say I don't really want to get into it, but like I don't so think uh, there's people big... who th- there are people who get offended by jokes by um someone who held a door open for me that's offensive. And if enough people, but, but if enough people say, no, I know you're shaking your head, and I know it's a stupid argument, right? But listen, let me talk, right? So if someone makes that point, right, and thousands of people then agree that holding doors is offensive, you would then say we shouldn't do that anymore. Yeah, and that, that's the that's the way the world should work, shouldn't that? If most of the population think that's offensive, then let it happen. Do you think so? No. If more, a lot of people find something offensive, then don't do it. The way the N word was always said was allowed to say. Never like that. People, people, it's okay. I bet you, if you took a consensus back in 1920s or whatever and said, here, black people are uh, are considered the same. I know you're saying, like, I know racism is different, but it's not the same thing. Because at that time, that was the, the conversation. And that's what people thought. Right now, we're thinking, Jesus Christ, holding the door of a woman is sexist. She's high. Is that like, but we don't know what's going to be like in 10, 20 years' time. And we don't know how that affects a certain person, especially if we're not from that certain 
if we're not that type of person, if we're not a woman or we're not a black person in society, we don't know how it affects them. So you take a consensus back in the 1920s and say, here, black people are equal to the man, a, white, a white man, true or false. And I'm, I'm pretty sure most of them go, no, they're not, they're lesser. So the vast majority of the population thought that back then. Was it okay for us to ignore that there and actually just go through and go, here, black people are, are, are lesser than whites? No, because we knew deep down, because obviously people push the barriers and people realize and people educate other people. If we're not educated enough, then we're not going to know the actual problems. So if, if the more we're educated about sexism in, in the workplace, towards women, towards anyone, like the more we're going to be aware and the more we're going to notice it. If we're not aware but of then, it. But like, what if, so holding the door open or whatever, right? So no what if most women don't find that offensive, but some women do? And you can't say, because some women do find that offensive, mate. Loads of people find that offensive. Loads of people mm. are on Twitter talking about it and how you shouldn't do it. They have people on See, debate shows talking about it. But what if it. some women, so some women don't find it offensive, some women do. Is it some, sexist? How some, do we know? See, I, some, I some someone also, so if I can say this one point, someone also finds it offensive how Union Jack in Belfast should be banned Union yeah. Jacks in Belfast. You know what I mean? So it, it, just because so people believe it doesn't mean it should be banned. That, that's not the kind of, my point. That, thank you. That's exactly what I've been saying the whole time. I you're not you're uh, you, you at that point, Tim. You, you're beating around the argument. And you haven't really asked me. Do I think French should be banned? No, I said that. Do I think anyone should be censored if they make a uh, sexist comment? No. So what, what my problem is for how, for for you to say that that's the grey area. We don't know what sexism is there. But if someone finds a sexist, then it is sexist. Then regardless if we should ban it or not. But it is. If if I find a joke about Irish people racist, then it is racist. Regardless if it's going to be uh, widely accepted and obviously everyone passed laws and not make offensive Irish jokes. No. But is it still offensive? Then yes. I mean, it should be banned. That's a different argument. But to actually say, is it offensive? Then it is offensive. If she holds the door for a woman and she finds that offensive, that's offensive. She can do what she wants. The same way we see someone walking walking about with Israeli flag. Or... How, are you, how are you going to know, though? I say I would hold the door. Exactly. For... But, but for you to say that she doesn't find it offensive there is, is, is bullshit. I didn't say she didn't. But what are you on about? So what, what are you trying to say? So if a so woman my, my point is, how do you know as a person? How do you know what to do? How do you, you know don't, it's, and it's, it's okay for you not to know. It's okay for you not to know something. But that woman tells you, don't hold the door for me. I find that offensive. And you continue to do it. Then it's offensive. Then you're being a dick. But then you're being a dick. But if you, if you don't know, if you're not aware, if you're not educated, then you're not aware, then it's fine. But See, it's okay to have a conversation. It's okay to have a conversation that women find their sexism in the workplace. If we weren't told, do you ever watch Bad Men, for example? That's why it was on a daily basis. Women are treated lesser. No, women... I get that, man. You can, I, oh, and no one's disagreeing with that. No, 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 no I, I'm not saying you should be aware of this here, but I'm saying what was the, who was the first person to say, here, wait a minute, it's a sexist. And how many, how much pushback that person gets? because they made that comment. That's what I'm trying to say. So even right now, when you find something, holding the door for someone is really insignificant, it's probably not. It's probably really, it's probably bigger for that person just, just because it isn't. Yeah, it is. But my, my point, I'm trying to talk about from a practicality point of view is like, so how are you supposed to determine? So if it, if 20% of people find this well, offensive, most don't, how, are you, how are you supposed to determine what to do? So you, you open the door, a woman tells you she finds that offensive. Do you now stop holding the door open for all women? Or do you do it until someone tells you it's not offensive? Well, How do you determine? But it's also about like you, you, you say people pass comments on Ricky Gervais and someone says, "Why well, I find you, your comment not, not all is offensive. They've told that there and that person See, probably... My, my, thing, my thing is I would hold, say I would, if I go to shop, I hold it open for a woman or whatever, but I would hold it open for you know, yeah, more people as well anyone. or anyone else. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like a common courtesy. I do. So would like, you even get I went, offended I if someone to said to you, that offends me? I'd be like, I didn't mean to offend you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just being exactly. nice. Exactly, there you go. That's what you do. Part of explain themselves. And the next time Patrick sees that person, doesn't do it. But the bad thing about modern society and modern like Twitter and Instagram and whatever, and even like Joe Rogan, like this is where I, f- I find Joe Rogan, that's why I probably went off Joe Rogan the last couple of years. It just says when someone brings up an opinion which isn't really like accepted, if a woman comes in and says, This is sexist, they get so much pushback. The me 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 too movement got so much pushed back. The people who actually came out who actually got raped and molested and sexually assaulted got pushed back because of that. So if they, if you say like, a woman holds the door for me and you go, what the fuck's she on about? How's that sexist? That's pushback. You know what I mean? So if a woman keeps getting pushed back, she's not going to fucking tell you what sex is yet because she gets so much pushback. So we should live in a society which we have the freedom of speech and the freedom to 
to express our opinion to anyone who it is, regardless if it's a sexist tweet, a racist comment, uh, a sexist act, we should have the free space where we can articulate that to other people and not get pushed back. But if you go into your boss and say, here, by the way, Dave and the fucking like, next door is sexist to me, and that person's like, okay, we'll take it into consideration, we'll look around. Don't worry, we're not going to tell anyone. But if that, if that, if that manager says, oh, we'll fucking grow up, will you? It's a fucking work environment, calm down, and tells everyone, then that's going to prevent the next person from going to the manager and telling them. And that means sexism is it's contained then. It's not contained, it's, it's, it's allowed to go ahead. So when, are we, when do we allow people to actually express themselves and tell them what offends them or not? I think, of course, there's going to be people with dickheads, but there's going to be dickheads all around. Mm. There's a world full of dickheads. But deep down, there's going to be people who are really deeply offended by a certain act and a certain comment. I think that's the comments that we need to focus yeah, on. Yeah, but that, that's... You know, and I'm not, I haven't disagreed with you. But my point is, like, so since when do you tailor your, tailor your behavior? If it's a mass consensus of, yes, we recognize that this is sexist, we stop doing it. But if it's one or two people who said, you have to, you have to live your life by actions that you take. But yeah. you need to know what's right and wrong. And for the most part, we know what's right and wrong. But there are gray areas. So it's yeah. like... I so think... you need to be able to determine. So, like, do you live your life by going like, I don't know how to do this. No, no, I, no, I don't know. No, no, if I'm working do and I'm working and just do. Yeah, I get that, but like, allow the freedom, of the free environment for a woman come can come and tell you that is sexist. But right now we don't have that environment. Don't even have is Twitter and Instagram. That's where you see it all. Because if we conf- if a woman confronts us, we all madly push back in society because it's a male dominant society we live in. And it's fact. So we should allow a, an environment, a space, a free energy where we can communicate, communicate to each other and we can express our feelings to one another as human beings. But if we have this male-dominated sexist society, women aren't going to feel empowered to come and tell you, here, that's sexist, Stephen. Don't call me that name. Don't call me love. Don't call me babe. Don't call me babe. Don't call me these sexist words. But if we don't create that environment, how can a woman come and tell you? I know, well, I know we're all about women here, but you know what I mean? Like, anything, racism, fucking... Well, sure, I let... I was at the shop and there was a queue, and I let... There was no person, I was like, here, you go ahead. So it might be an ageist by assuming that they're... But what if someone told you that you were, mate? You would were, I'd be like, no, I'd just be like, well, I'm yeah. just being nice. But they, even if you said, I'm just being nice, but they turn around then and say, no, but you're being, being ageist. ageist by, like, let, by assuming, like, all old people get up early to go to the shops between 9 and 10. Exactly, but I, I think I think if if you if you let them, but they're only being nice. Yeah, it's the same as we work, we work in the cinema. Like we see an elderly person, we want to offer him hand to bring him down. Yeah. But if if the if the man says no, and then you go, and the man They'll says like, well, right away. Yeah, but if a man but says then, do you tell your behavior for all older gentlemen? No, to I say, tell them to be nice. Well, well, maybe you maybe you re re say what you say instead of instead of offering help, saying like. Here, I'll take you down the the screen for you. Yeah, say, I get do, that. Do, just ask the question: Do you need help carrying us down? If they say no, yeah. that's okay. But like the thing is, like, so if you apply that to like racism, and you say a comment that you don't think is racist, but someone say, someone says to you that's racist, but someone else goes that's not racist, and you, you you like it's something that you say in your daily life, and then you go, do I say it or do I not say it, or do I just stop saying it altogether? Same as like if you've just got really an elderly yeah. person that Proctor lets go in front of him in a queue. Do you and that person find that so offensive that you've done that? Do you now stop doing that, or do you do you still proceed that act, that that method of you can go first, or do you ask someone, do you need help? So what if someone said found that offensive, and then you go, I don't know, should I ask? Because of me asking, that's the act, that's what I'm being told but is wrong. I, I think that comes down to what I said before, creating a free space where we can have that conversation. If, 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 if we make a comment and then the guy we're talking to doesn't bring it up but in some guy besides you says here that's racist we'll have a conversation but say why is that racist for and they explain it, it goes oh then it maybe re- help you yeah, re- you might it. understand their opinion or they may, might understand then, where you're coming from and then maybe you're go fuck that is racist but yeah, it's yeah. just you don't know what like you don't know yeah, their life exactly you don't know and it's the same thing it's like but then there's no point in walking about and maybe not doing constantly stuff. overthinking things it's like that's my point yeah. it's like the point well, we should be that, open the, so what the, if you take yeah, of course you should be. Like, like but the action that you take, so say the action of asking someone do they need help or uh, letting an old person, oh, this is a ridiculous comma, but yeah, say yeah, yeah. the action of allowing an older person to go in front of you in the queue, even asking that question, say that person got offended because you asked that question. Do you, you then go, fuck, I've offended that person by even asking. Do you then now stop asking people? 
No, so yes, or do you, cause themselves you just nice. continue to do it? Because well, if you, it's the if act of asking that they got they they no, were because, offended by. No, because I think it comes from a good place. Like you are literally. You, the, the, you're you're literally actually, trying to be nice. You're trying to be nice, but it all depends Holding on what. The door opens coming from a good place. But yeah, but you're but are you holding it because it's a woman? Then yes, but that's sexist. Then. I'm but not if you're sure. hold, but as Proctor said, if you're holding it for anyone, like I, yeah. But if you're holding, it every, just, most people hold the door open for anyone. That's the problem, Stephen. No, a lot of people just hold the door open for women. women. That's I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I went. I can't remember where I went. It was before lockdown anyway, and I was like. Cause it, it was like, like a woman held the door and I was like, oh, you go first. And they were like, no, it's grand. I was like, but I didn't. I was like, no, go ahead. You go first. I just went, yeah. right, okay, went first. A lot of people be like, oh, no, you go first. I'll be a gentleman. Then, that, yeah. then technically you're making a difference because they're a woman and they're a force. Are you, are, are way, you you're, being nice as well, though? Like, yeah, but why are you being like letting, nice? It's like letting someone. Would you let a woman on the bus before you? I let, if, if a woman, if a person. I let anyone. Her, yeah, like, if they're ever for me, I let them I'm young. I'm young. I can stand if there's no seats. Do you know what I mean? But like, you, you know yourself, like if you're sitting at a bus stop and there's a guy your age, you probably aren't gonna let him on the bus first. You, you, if you're there first and someone comes down, nine times out of ten, you don't well, even if I'm think there about it. But then I think most people know there's like an unspoken bus rule in there. Yeah, there first. But I think what it comes down to is like if you're holding the door for for everyone, then that's just you being a nice person. If you're holding the door open just for women, so, mm-hmm. then you're making a difference. But and why? No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me finish. This. So why are you holding the door for women? Then I go, then we're we're going really deep here. Then why are you holding the door for that woman for? Are you do you think they're not capable of holding the door? for them that's what it goes mm. down to and men do that men hold the door because women they think women need protected men need to be nice to them they don't need to be like, treat every man and every woman the exact my same my mom would have raised me to hold the door open for a woman my mom would have raised me well, there you go your like, mom like, sexton but like <laughs> mom your mom my mom would have been like you let that elderly person on the bus you get up you get if a woman gets on the bus and the bus is packed i think that's just common courtesy though that's, you get that's it's, just, it's being nice but the but problem also is also if someone's injured it's like someone but has a broken leg like, bus, but if an old man doing. gets on the bus i'll still get yeah, up of course yeah yeah but they, 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 most people are sitting on a full packed bus and if a even if a young woman or an older woman comes on a lot of people will stand up and let that person sit down yeah if an older person and, like, apparently, because they are older they're more fragile that's just even like have you not seen someone get give their seat up for a woman on a bus even if that's, she's 20s or 30s is that sexist or is that someone just being nice this is the society where i'm going so if you we don't know until you ask them for someone we know no but that's the problem that's what i'm trying to say to you so if you break let's break this down we're going really deep here i know we're in the end yeah same here like i know i need to go as well i need to go for the minutes ago but if you break it down why are you offering that woman seat and why didn't you offer that man seat then there there you go that is actually sexist do you think the woman needs to sit down you're trying to protect that woman because she's oh she's she's a little old woman she needs to sit down a man does not man can stand because he's stronger it's like well there you go same that is sexist then you know what i mean oh, but it's no. also being nice exactly is her mouth like, then not but there's the you can be sexist and be nice and be sexist and be an asshole there's there you know sex is not always wrong sex is not always bad or good it's not always just bad, you know what I mean? You can be sexist, but you're being good. You're holding a door for a woman. But if you break it down, why are you actually holding that door for a woman? And why wouldn't you hold, up for, hold it open for a man? Uh, you can why? hold it open for a woman and clo- like an old man's behind you, but then close it. Yeah, what's the difference? So you're being sexist <laughs> then? You, you're believing that woman can't do it yeah. herself? But I guess my point is, I just don't see how that is a problem. Like, I think if you're a good person and you're nice and you allow someone to get on the bus in front of you and you let someone sit down and then that person gets offended, like, I would be offended if they got offended at me. I'd be like, well, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to live my life with good values and be a good person. Them, yeah, exactly. Just say, what well, I would do the same for anyone. So I'm leaving this country. Should I? If but I wouldn't. Why, why would you not make a difference? Why Why are you letting a woman on a bus before you now fell for why do you think it's okay to leave? So should I stop? Should I stop? Be nice, everyone. <laughs> be nice, Start everyone. driving. Be nice, everyone. <laughs> like, don't be nice to just women because you think they're little old women. Be but nice, to everyone. Every be nice to every children you see. Be nice to every old man you see. Every young woman you see. Just be nice to everyone. If you want to let someone in front of you in the line, let them, take them, them. Let them take a line. But like, so if, exactly. So everything that my ma would have told me growing up, being like, this is what you should do. You should allow this woman on the bus in front of you. You should hold the door open. So if my mom was on here right now. You would tell my mom that she's wrong and she's a woman but she's wrong no but i'm not saying no one's right or wrong here but uh, is that can, can someone say that's offensive then just can someone find that sexist then yes because you're making a yeah. difference 
Same way, if you made a difference for a black person and a white person, then you're being racist because you're you're acknowledging there's a difference between them. But, but what we're what we're saying is, but even if we're making a difference and it can be classified as sexism, it's like good sexism because you're being no. nice. No, but no, but deep down you actually are being nice. But if you're being nice to everyone, if you're holding the door for an old man, holding the door. If I walk in and I pull the door and someone's beside me, regardless if I'm a man, a woman, a wee kid, I, I let them in. Never, I let them go ahead of me. Never, yeah, I don't, I, most people do. But yeah. so say you you but do that. You that's my point. You're doing it for everyone, but then someone gets offended that you do it. It's like but fuck no, me. No, no, no. Then, then it's okay. Then you're like, no, I'm I do it for anyone. Yeah, I don't yeah, make yeah. difference. But if you're trying to say me, you make a difference for just a woman, then yes, Stephen, that is sexist. But still, no, there yeah, I get that. But, but but also, but it doesn't matter because the, doesn't the, matter. the woman the woman could turn around and still say to you, I know you do this for everyone, but I still am offended by it. Well, that's her issue. Well, that's her that's her problem. And then, that's then you her problem. Yeah, that's my this is my point, that's her no, problem then. No, but that, that the argument was if you're making a difference for women, if you're you holding can't please everyone. Women, yeah, you can't please yeah, exactly. You just you gotta be nice to everyone. You gotta take it in a chin. With your man, not, not saying your man's wrong, because I met your mom, she's lovely. But if your mom used to say, hold the door for women and not men, be then. Sexist, it's be sexist. But it's yeah. You know, fine, right? Like, if you were sitting on the bus with your man, right? And you were sitting down and a fella got on. If I got on the bus and you didn't know what, you would never get give me your seat. I don't give hands. I don't give hands. Like, if I, like if I can see you kind of like with loads of shopping or like yeah. you're kind of struggling to sit or, 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 or you're kind of like, I don't know. I'd be like, here, go ahead. Because I can stop. If a woman comes on with a kid or a man comes on with a kid, they need a seat because they need to hold a fucking kid. Yeah. I'm not being sacked. I'm just That's being helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I, but, if, but, but if you make a difference for a woman, then that's sexism. If you make a difference because a guy's black, that's racism, I think, personally. And I think that's the general consensus. I think that's the difference between racism. That's what racism is. If you're making a difference, you're saying, well, this white guy can do it. This black guy needs a bit of help. I'm going to help this black guy more. Well, you're, you're making a difference. Uh, holding the door for open for a woman and not doing it for a fella. You're making a difference. You think that woman needs your help. There you go, there but if you hold the door open for everyone, yeah, you're even, if the woman, even if the woman is offended, it's okay. Yeah, I think I think it's okay because you're doing it for everyone. Nice. You're, it's common. It's like you're you're actually being nice. You're not being. Yeah, being but if you're doing but if you're doing just for women, then I think it's sexist. I think that's where a lot of people come from. It's, it's, a, it's, okay. you are, it's a same, it's a same act, it's the same act, act, but it's different. Yeah, but then, then it comes to a personal, personal opinion then. But like if yeah, if you're doing the same act, it's a personal opinion. But if you're doing, yeah, exactly. It all, uh, it all has to boil down where it comes from deep down. Why you hold that door for a woman? It's because you think the woman needs help, or it's because you hold the door open for everyone else. If you hold well, the door, for I everyone, hold the door for everyone. I think you're rude if you don't hold the door open. Exactly. Well, it's 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 one of these things. It just happens. But then if you don't hold the door, open, you're gonna just seem like a dick. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it, it's more awkward not to hold the door. Open. I do. I'd actually, I'd do. I'd rather hold the door open than close it in front of them. Yeah, and but you would do it for a kid. A man, a woman, uh, a black guy, a white guy, an Asian guy, you do it for anyone. But if you just do it for that one person, then why are you doing it? Then there's something like fundamentally there. Is it because you don't think that woman's capable That's of doing it? That's the main. It's the same act, but people could have different reasons for doing it. But I think it all comes down to where, 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 where's it all coming from? If you have Frankie Boyle, let's go back to comedians, if you have Frankie Boyle attacking English people and black people on stage constantly, but if he attacks white people, black people, Hispanic people, young people old people then like he's he's literally being he's not targeting one person if you target one type of person i.e a woman or a black guy i know they're i know, I know, they're, I know they're extreme but still then it's offensive is it not but then you, right. you always find the comedians whenever they talk about everything or stuff they always bring up issues Do you know what yeah I, mean? I think your boy's really good felt there i think he's politically politically in tune with what's going on in society That's but you I know you you know that they're, they're probably not you know I, mean? I know i think yeah i think you're right but but no but I, that's the end i think it's interesting i don't think it's as clear like, like yeah i mean yeah. there's people who watch frankie boyle and are immensely offended yeah and want, him, and want him boycotted and want him taken off but what's funny is that we don't and that's why i find it so interesting this comes down to like, personal opinion there's mm-hmm. loads of people like frankie boyle get taken off bbc shows like there's loads of people trying to boycott him but yet we can make a reaction video laughing our bollocks off at him yeah, but but it's, not say it's okay because he's offending everyone. So that's what that's all I'm saying. I think it's so interesting that like someone else has this different opinion and boycotts him, but yeah, me and you morally feel ethically okay to do it to I, watch him. I, I think Michael McIntyre should be taken off TV because he's not he's not funny Shit. whatsoever. He's not funny whatsoever. <laughs> but you know what? He's like one of the biggest comedians on the planet or in the UK anyway. You know what I mean? That's our opinion. 
know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't think he should be taken off because he's offending people. You think he should be taken off because he's not that good. People think Frankie Boy should be taken off because he's offending people. And if, if they get a lot of complaints, then then that's that's. So uh, then that's, you can't enjoy your Frankie Boy anymore, which is well, sad, I think. Well, that's just BB. I don't think it's people. We'll go, we'll go back to why BBT or Channel Four, ITV, whatever TV show he was on, got taken off. It's because of ratings. It's because of money. If Frankie Boyle was getting 10 million plus viewers and a thousand people contacted and said, "Here he's been offensive," do you think BBC would cancel him? BBC would go fucking do one. Do you think Netflix? If it, if it, well, everyone on Netflix was watching Friends, but a ha- about say, a, but a, a million people said, "Here, that's offensive." They're like. We don't give a fuck. It's making us money. Get the fuck away from us. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit. They don't really deep down care. They don't care about political issues and what's uh, what's right or wrong. They care about what's making money. And Frankie Boy, the bad thing about there, he's a really funny comedian. He is, but he's not like renowned for being like liked by everyone. I think that's why Loads people, of people who, hate him. That's, that's, all, I, that's, that's all. Like that's all I'm trying yeah. to say. Is I find it really interesting that we can make that distinction. There's groups of people that feel so passionately against them that shouldn't be on TV, but we can make reaction videos because we're not offended by them and we find them funny. But what's right or wrong? Look at the way... Exactly. That's, that's, so therefore, it's, that's why it's not as clear-cut because... Oh, so that's clear-cut, but I think, it, I think it goes down with what, what deep down that person means and what, uh, what why are you doing it for? Exactly, Just, that's what I'm at, trying to say. Look at, politi- look at anything that's happening in the world. Look at Palestine and Israel. Fair. Why, why why didn't they ever broadcast about Palestine? What's going on in Palestine and Israel? Like the, the slaughter of the, the Palestinians on a daily basis. Why is that never talked about? Why? I think it's to do with intent. Like if you're not, if you're intending to be nice and a good person and not to offend someone, but yet someone gets offended on the way, but that's not your intention, yeah. then you can't really be ridiculed for it. I, but I don't think they are ridiculed. I think that's the problem. Like, I, I don't think it, I don't think people lose their career because they make one like one slightly sexist joke, you know what I mean? I think that's I think I think I think I think you're you're coming across as if like this this wee small thing, this wee one person on Twitter complains and this person's career falls and the shitter. I don't I don't think it works that way. I think they wanna some people like wanna paint it that way. Or well, if that person didn't complain on Twitter, I would still have my T V show. No, it's because thousands upon thousands of people complained, and that's why they lost it. And it's because financially they were getting affected by the TV show and they cancelled it. Mm-hmm. But I think if Frankie, Frankie Boy and Ricky Gervais, like they're getting loads of media from this, do you know what I mean? Like they're getting popular. Exactly. It's because everyone knows deep down in that sex. They're getting but, attention. Yeah. Like, but not everyone knows deep down, they're not. You know, that's but, the point. But it's also people. People, then we then then it's all about information. Like what 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 information are we getting getting fed? You know what I mean? Are we if we if we if we talk about what's actually going on in society, what's actually happened in history, we're not we're not going to trust anyone. IBM who fucking who funded the Holocaust, Chase Manhattan who funded the Nazi Party, the Poppy Appeal, the founder of that the royal family actually was friends of Hitler. No, I mean like if we're told all this shit here, it's because what we're told people are informed. I think I goes down to trust the 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 media. And we don't, I don't I personally I don't trust the media to tell me the right information. Like do you? Use? No. Right, I have to go because I'm gonna get killed here. Yeah, yeah I have to go as well. But uh, it was All interesting. Right, I'll see anyway. Thanks for coming on, Declan. Appreciate it. No bar. No bar. Right. Sorry we got too heated there, for you. <laughs> I had the popcorn ready, so I did. <laughs> All right, see, you later. Cheers. see you later. Bye bye bye. Listening to the empty podcast team.